Hello everyone. So today uh, we will continue our tutorial. The last time we we, have, we saw the how to do uh, the general setup of advanced AI system and the melee attack. Now here we have the same scene from the last time, the same tutorial scene. Our AI, as you remember, it can do melee attack. Now we will make it uh, do ranged attack. So it's very simple. Here you should check can range attack. Yes. So we checked it, I checked it, it can do ranged attack. And now you have for ranged attack to set the projectile origin. Uh, this uh, this uh, it, uh, it was added automatically by advanced AI. So here you have this game object uh, that refers uh, the launching point of the projectile. So I will I will make it as like uh, it's getting out uh, from uh, a gun or anything. So here, for example, and uh, it's very important. Be sure, it's very important that uh, this projectile origin cannot interfere with uh, with uh, uh, the trigger here, our trigger collider that we set up uh, to our dummy uh, previously to to get hit. Because if it uh, if it uh, collides with our trigger collider, then when the projectile launches, launches, it will uh, hit uh, the dummy itself. So uh, the AI will hit itself. So be careful that the projectile origin is uh, a little far from the dummy or from the character itself. So here, for example. Okay, here is our projectile origin. Okay, set up. Now we return. So, can range attack, it's checked. I will go down. So, here, uh, the projectile section. Projectile destruction uh, time, time in seconds, after which uh, the projectile will be destroyed in two seconds. Uh, projectile effects destruction and projectile effects prefab. Here you have uh, an option if you want uh, to add uh, your own particle system for the projectile, for example, muzzle flash for guns or whatever. You can add any particle system that you have as a prefab here, and this is the destruction time for this uh, particle effects. Note it's very important that you have uh, to read the PDF documentation as, as uh, there is a little note here. You know, for Unity, there are two types of uh, particle system: the classical or old, uh, old uh, particle system, and the new shuriken particle system. So, if your uh, particle system is uh, old one, this means uh, renderer uh, plus animator plus emitter, emitter. So, this is the destruction time; it will be destroyed after this uh, number of seconds. But if your particle system is shuriken, the new then you don't need to assign this value here as it will be destroyed automatically after finishing the play. Uh, projectile SFX, uh, projectile sorry, offset uh, Y. This is uh, the offset uh, of Y uh, of the projectile direction in Y axis. For example, sometimes you can uh, notice uh, when testing your eyes that the projectile is launched a little upwards or a little downwards uh, from its target so to make it uh, directed or oriented uh, directly towards your target you can uh, play with, with this, this value but most time most times uh, leave it uh, with, uh, at its uh, default value here here uh, minus 0 0.1 so it is uh, oriented a little uh, downwards to be uh, so it can uh, uh, arrive our target. Here now we have uh, you have to assign the projectile rigid body. Projectile your projectile like game object or prefab must have a rigid body component. So assign it here. I made an example uh, as you see an example uh, projectile uh, prefab here in the prefabs folder. So here an example uh, projectile it's a little sphere. So it must have rigid body component and you have to assign this projectile script to it. Projectile script, it can be found here in the scripts folder and projectile. So here you have uh, some parameters. You don't need to, to modify these parameters uh, as 
they will be assigned automatically by advanced AI in the inspector itself. So, so not here. You can assign it here as you see. We have already projectile destruction time. We have you have here projectile velocity, uh, velocity to 20, and to here. Now projectile uh, attack uh, anime so the animation fight will be played uh, for range attack here is named shoot and as you remember the name of the animation must match uh, uh, the animation name from the animation component here assigned to our original character it's shoot okay and range attack sfx as uh, the same as before uh, if you want uh, sound fight to be played uh, when ranged attacks uh, uh, happening, uh, for example, for gun shoots, uh, this is important. Ranged attacks interval like in melee attacks, uh, the, the time in seconds uh, between each uh, ranged attack, so to one second here. And ranged projectile damage, uh, so uh, the, dam uh, the damage amount of the projectile uh, received by our target, so to 10. And don't forget always to assign. Uh, the player health uh, uh, to add uh, this player health component to your target here we to our first person controller always it can be found in the scripts folder here so uh, recall damage uh, and uh, the rest is uh, the same as for melee attack so I think everything is uh, ready to do a little test. We will see now. Play. I can shoot. Here is our AI. It wanders and it then it stops to idle a little. Then it wanders. I'm now behind it. It cannot see me and it cannot hear me either because um I didn't check can hear option. I try to to uh, to shoot it to shoot at it. It will notice me when it's uh, hidden. Uh, it noticed me now. It attacks me. If you see my health, uh, my health is uh, is uh, diminishing. My health is getting down. I will attack it. I will attack it. Oh. It killed me. You are dead. I am dead. And if you see now, after killing its target, the eye can wonders. Uh, can wander around uh, normally as before uh, now because I am dead, so it cannot see me. So I will do a little test here again. Okay, I can shoot, it cannot see me now, it wanders, uh, then it stops a little to idle, then it wanders. I am behind it, it cannot see, see me or hear me, I'll try to shoot it, it knocks me, uh, it attacks me, I'll attack it, we killed the other before, And it's dead. I killed it this time. Okay. See you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.